what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel now we are on bailey's account and let me tell you that this account is absolutely insane okay this account is absolutely insane but we are going to be showcasing on he jin e3 um i don't have her at e3 i don't even have her at the moment yeah i need to pull for her because she is literally just so so good okay she is so so good let's have a look at the emblems what's set up here um, so we've gone down attack and support. Go for crit rate. Okay. I haven't seen that. Um, yeah, actually that would probably make sense. Yeah, his point is going for the attack. That was point is going for the attack. Okay. Uh, it's gone for the mastery, obviously, because she is health burning. Gone for the health here. Um, and shield damage taken is less. Tummy reduction taken is less. Chance to reduce cooldown and for targets with lower speed and self effects, it is increased. Uh, 6%. I wonder how she would fare on attack and defense with the max. No, because you're still going to have mastery. Okay, ignore that. Support is the way to go. Support is the way to go. Um, we're going to go over her exclusives a moment. Her exclusives a moment. Level 1, the third stage of damage dealt by max firepower additionally inflicts 6% damage of a target's max health. Caps at 18% of Arnhe Jin's max health. This damage is considered as health burning damage and skill damage. Level 2, Arnhe Jin has extra 8% effect to each stage of fiery shooting. Additionally, shoots a bullet to a random enemy apart from the main target. This bullet will prioritize a different enemy. Arnhe Jin will not additionally shoot the bullet if there is only one enemy. This is actually very, very good. Um, because there is two stages of this attack, meaning you're hitting another target twice, which is very handy for putting on health burn. Level 3 deals extra two stages of attack damage. If Burst of Gunfire didn't kill any enemy in its duration, Arnhe Jim will gain one layer of Magic Warhead for two turns, and the cooldown of Burst of Gunfire will be reduced by one turn. Magic Warhead increases damage dealt by Burning Bullet by 50%. Um, so, on you can see why this is important, because there's two stages of attack on her basic. And level 2 exclusive grants you an additional bullet, um, which hits a random enemy. This won't, however, mean you shoot more bullets if there is only one enemy on the board. Uh, skill 2, 4 stages of 80% attack damage to a single enemy, 40% chance to inflict a layer of health burning for 2 turns. Crazy for stacking that health burn. Uh, the passive... Uh, she takes less health burning, 100% chance to inflict two layers of health burning instead when Arhi Jin inflicts one layer of health burning each time. Uh, this is also very, very nice. Uh, if she successfully inflicts one layer of health burning on a target of five layers of health burning, she will do extra one stage of 2% damage of a target's max health. Each stage caps at 6% of Arhi Jin's max health. This extra damage is considered as health burning and skill damage. This does increase, as you can see, does increase with the skill upgrades. Now, this final skill is freaking insane because it's AoE, um, three stages of attack, and we're laying on health burn each time. It's on a four turn cooldown. AoE health burn, just boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to come in and say trigger it with a Hazonia. You don't have to be using Hazonia, but you can. Um, level one here increases the damage dealt. Increases the damage doubt. Let's have a look at how they've got the equipment set up here. And obviously it's health burning. So the best set that you can use is endurance. It is endurance. The health increase and the mastery increase. As you can see, there are some crazy stats on this. Uh, let me move myself here a moment. We've got health at 714k. Attack is at 37. Um, crit rate is, is nothing really to worry about. Uh, crit damage again. That's just this is all sanctuary boosts. I would assume affects it is ninety six percent. Mastery is one hundred and eighty four percent. Let's have a little look at the gear stats on this, so we can compare. Um, affect it health rate on the first piece. Nice. Mastery and health rate again on the chest piece. Unfortunately, that healing effect there. Uh, on the boots, treble mastery roll one into affect it. And on the accessory is speed and crit damage. This was unlucky. This was really unlucky. Imagine if this went into mastery and effect. It would have been crazy. Mastery artifact, as you can imagine. This could actually be improved. Let me just... This is much better, yeah? Or is there a reason why the speed is at... Is at... 
Did they want the speed? Like, this is okay. Maybe yeah. It's not much better, is it? Okay, I'm not going to change anything. Um, on the second artifact, affect it. Mastery, health rate is good. Endless treasure, speed here with mastery and affect it. Um, yeah, okay, that's that. All right, so let's have a little look at her. Let's have a little look at her. I will remember to move myself this time. I will remember to move myself this time. Let's, um, there is some team set up. There is some teams set up. We're going to go straight into rum. Okay, we're going to go straight into rum stage 35. Now, bear in mind, this account, like I said, it is crazy. Okay, and it's not just a show. <laughs> it's Santa E5, Catherine E5. Little Jack only E2, not E3. Um, Arnie Jin is E3, and it's got a Nid rolled in here as well. But, you know, this is important to show how Arnie Jin benefits this team. So let's just go into the auto battle. It is on auto. It is on auto. Um, on this first wave, it's literally just a nuke, as you can see. That's just a nuke, as you can see. On this second wave, I think the freeze comes in, and there you go. Uh, I mean, like, everything is just... It's stage 35. Don't get me wrong. The Sanctuary buffs are huge on this account as well. They all have very, very good auras. That's one thing I didn't go over with Arnie Jim was the aura. But I believe she has an advanced hit aura on her. The Legend one with effect hit increase and health rate increase. So we've got five health burns on, 10 bleeds, effect resistance down, speed down. If like, This team is just, yeah. I wonder if Catherine could possibly be changed from this team, actually. How much is Catherine bringing to this team? I don't know. Um, obviously, Nidroll did do double the damage. I mean, he is going before Arnhejin as well, so he's going to be dealing more wave damage too. Um, but, you know... <laughs> It's, 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 it's just nuts. Um, do we have a guild boss team? Do we have a guild boss team for it? Let's just have a look at the ranking a moment. Do, 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 do. Look at the justice for rice. <laughs> just, okay, so this team here. Look, Anhe Jin, Lukea, Ben Austin, Little Jack, and Santa. 432 million on the boss. Um, I wonder how much of this damage was um, Lukea. I mean, Little Jack isn't E3, so he wouldn't have done a huge amount here. He wouldn't have done a huge amount there. Um, I won't show that, though. I don't want to use another key. Um, maybe it's got, it's got level 5s on, level 4s done. Um, I don't think Bailey would mind. I don't think Bailey would mind. Um, is it set up in the guild boss? Here we go. Okay, let's have a look. Let's, let, let's do it. Um, let's do it, because it's, it's good to, good to see how all these health burns are stacking so i mean on the basic she landed did she just land four health burns on the basic are you kidding me okay now what's important to note here is is when she's got five layers of health burning on the boss you're going to be triggering you're going to be doing more health burning damage instantly when every time you're hitting Every time you're hitting as well, you can see it ticking. Like, that's crazy. That is insane. If Little Jack was E3 here, this team would be absolutely insane. I mean, it's already crazy. Boss is at 65% in five turns. My goodness. Another thing, like we said, sanctuary counts usually here. Auras as well are, are, are maxed. Okay, auras are maxed. It's absolutely disgusting. Okay, this is like my damage right now after this turn. That, that's like my damage now after eight turns that's my damage after like 20. or 19 sorry
But I mean, what? what... Uh, I feel like Arnie Jin could be used in PvP. I I feel like she could be. But you would need. No, um, I mean, it's not going to be like top top team. Twelve turns, boss is nearly dead. Is it, is it going to do it in fourteen or thirteen? Is it going to be thirteen? Can't be thirteen, surely. It's going to be thirteen, isn't it? Oh my goodness! Is it thirteen or fourteen? Wow, thirteen turns. Oh, boy! What? She's matching Lucaya here, pretty much. One nine two, one seven nine. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay, that, that's that's. <laughs> um, now look at this. Look at this friggin' faction abyss. Up to nine hundred and five. Up to nine hundred and five. Um, and Nameless Brotherhood has now been cleared up to twenty eight, thanks to Anhe Jin and Popper and Popper. Um. Wow. I'm like. Oh, she is very good. I just want to throw into campaign a moment. Um, we always do this. Twelve ten. We we always do this. Let's take take out take out. Um, where's Catherine and Arnie Jin? Catherine and Arnie Jin, where are you? They should just put her boobs as as the friggin' portrait because we'd be able to find her easier. Um, let's just have a look at this a moment. I just want to see. I'm not going to set anything. There we go. Look, full health burns across the board. Five health burns on every single friggin' enemy. Like. It, it, even that basic. Look at that. Four on one target from the basic. Oh my. I feel like Hazonia's been just replaced. I feel like Hazonia has just been replaced by Arnie Jim. Insane. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I. I. I don't. I don't need to show her anymore because, like, you can see how good she is. I know that this account is stacked. Okay. I know the stats are crazy as well. But bear in mind that is run thirty-five. That is run thirty-five. Can it do run thirty-six? Okay, let's just let's just leave it on auto a second and just see if it does run thirty six. What is this? You got Nidrel Gilliman? I, 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 this is the first time I've looked at thirty six. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, apples are gone and Nidrel. Oh, okay, yeah. This is wow. Okay, I'm not even. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll see all of you on the next video. Uh, good luck pulling your Arnie Jin if you need her for PvE. We will be taking a look at Popper next. Take care. Have a fantastic day, even wherever you are. Goodbye.